Hey guys, so today I'm here with a video. Um, I got my natural hair straightened on yesterday. And yes, I did get my hair straightened by the Dominicans. And I know it does not look super straight like you would normally expect to see the day after, but it rained today. That maybe was one thing. And another thing was that last night when I went to bed, I did not tie my hair down. Yeah, I did not tie my hair down. So that caused a lot of like, you know, a little bit of fuzziness and frizziness and my edges aren't as on fleek as I'd like it to be, you know, and things just aren't exactly how I would want them to be. But overall, my hair is still pretty straight. Um, I did put an Adore semi-permanent red color in my hair. So that's what you're seeing is that semi-permanent red. And it came out pretty darn good. So um, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to show you guys how I set my hair at night. It's actually daytime, but I'm not going anywhere else. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my hair for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be Sunday, which is church. So I want my um, hair to train and to flow the right way. So just to give you guys a, a very informal length check, I, my bangs is pretty good about to my lips. Um, so they're growing really well. The sides of my hair over here, I'll say my sides are down to about here. And then the back of my hair, as you can see, if you can see, I hope I am in the frame, but it sits just about here. And, the, and my ends are just a little frizzy, but if I straighten it, it was just a bit, little bit tad bit longer. Okay, so my hair is growing since the last time I cut it. I cut it because the last time I did this Dominican blowout, my hair did not revert and it was just straight. So I cut it to start all over and I'm back to where I was at that last blowout. It's just a tad bit longer. So what I'm going to do now is show you how I go about this process. So if you're interested in how to set um, or wrap or prepare your hair for a wrap for the next day, stay tuned. The first thing we're going to talk about is products. What products am I going to be using today? Well, I'm going to use my, um, uh oh, got real all blurry. I'm going to be using my uh, rat tail comb first. And this is going to help me with parting and making sure that my hair is tangled. I'm also going to be using this brush. I got this beautiful spring colored brush from the Dollar Tree and it's so pretty. But this is what I'm going to be using um, to wrap my hair after I've placed the um, positioned it. The next thing we're going to use is one simple one product. I don't like to use a lot of products because I don't want my hair to be weighed down. So I'm going to be using this Bio Silk. Um, silk therapy and it's uh, the cure is what it's called and let's see if this this guy will focus for you and I'm sorry guys of course you guys remember I'm still trying to learn this new camera but eventually I will get it but it is a bio silk there you go the cure okay so that's what I'm using to set my hair today um, and then finally, the last thing that I'm going to be using is my flat iron. And and I know you guys are like, oh, well, you just got to blow out. You just got heat to your hair. Yeah, I just got to blow out and I just had heat to my hair. This is the purpose of me wrapping my hair so that I can train it so that I won't have to keep doing it every day. If I didn't wrap my hair at night and I just comb my hair down, I put it in a high ponytail um, and put a bonnet on at night, when I wake up in the morning, I would still have to do some sort of uh, framing or fixing of my hair. But with this, um, doing this wrapping now, I won't have to do this again. Another way you could do this is if you have time, like put your hair in a roller set and then um, wrap it that way. But I have to start with some big curls, some tight curls to get my hair to form into that wrap. So I'm going to achieve those tight curls with this flat iron. I'm using my Sutra. I've had this flat iron for about maybe six, seven months now. I got it at the mall and it was like $140. It's a very great flat iron. It has like magnetic plates. 
um, that kind of move to the form of your hair. Um, and it's really good. So I have not experienced any heat damage from this flat iron here. So this is what I'm going to be using today. Okay, I have it set on 450 degrees, which is the highest temperature that it will go. So we're gonna deal with that, okay? So those are all the products that I'm gonna be using. So now let's jump into what I do to get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to section my hair off. So I'm gonna section off the bottom portion in the back. I'm just going to take this portion and I'm going to pull my hair up and clip this away. So I have about this much. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just want to put enough in there. I'm going to put a little bit of my bio silk in my hair. Just rub that in. take my flat iron and I'm going to put some really big curls in the back here and I'm not really trying to straighten my hair but I'm just trying to put like a, some big curls in it tight curls when I say big curls I mean tight curls okay so that is how it looks. So I am going to continue this all the way up my hair. Okay guys, so this is pretty much what's happening. I'm just putting some big old curls in my hair. I've placed the cure on. I brought you back to show you, I'm gonna go into my edges here and just try to smooth those back out a little bit because they got a little frizzy from the weather. So I'm just gonna just take this flat iron, try to get as close as I can without burning myself. And that should be good enough. Okay, so then what I got left is just this top part. And I, I wanted to show you guys how I did this because I kinda wanna um, give props to this flat iron a little bit. This flat iron is the bomb. Because of the swivel plates on this flat iron, like you don't really have to do anything to turn it. You just have to just grab in a little bit of that cure. Just rubbing that in. Like you don't really have to, like you can pull the hair straight through. It doesn't snag your hair or anything like that. So I just put it on and then I just turn it real quick so I can get a nice tight curl. And look, I mean, you just it just doesn't take anything for this thing to, to work. That's why I love this flat iron. Okay, so I'm leaving that like that. And, and this, this part right here that's left, I'm going to go into this direction because that is the way I want my hair to fall. So um, remember, curl your hair in the direction that you want your hair to fall when you comb your wrap out. Okay, so this is what I am doing. So very, very simple. And you guys should get this. This is like super easy to do. And I'm just, uh oh. Just gonna make a really tight curl there. And all of it's not in there, so I'm gonna pull this piece and do, do this part over. Okay. And I want my bangs to be. This piece is, I need to fix that, rather loose. So I'm just going to add some more here. I don't know if you guys have ever tried BioSilk products, but they are awesome. This stuff, I know this stuff has silicone in it. It's like protecting my hair and also giving me a smooth finish. And that's what I love the most about it. So this is a rather large section and that's fine because I'm going to still get it all in and make a tight curl. Okay. Let's see so I can get that look tomorrow. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's all curled and big curls. 
Okay, and I can even just go out like this and be like, hey girl, hey, hey, hey girl, hey. But this isn't what I want. I want that natural flowing wrap, okay? So now I'm gonna show you what this looks like when I begin to wrap it. So here we go. So the next step, what I do is I put the stocking cap on top of my head and I kind of turn it so that my hair will be nice and tight and locked into that place. And this is what it looks like all the way around. And I know some people think stocking caps pull out your hair and it's not a good idea. Um, it may, you know, it just depends on how you take care of your hair. I'm going to put my bonnet over this tonight when I go to bed and then it's going to be nice and secure so that is how i wrap my hair at night so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions or comments please leave them below if you're not subscribed sub subscribe because it's free and i'm going to have a lot more videos coming for you i really look forward to uh, growing my channel and doing a little bit more variety now that i have moved and i am in my spot and i have my position together i hope you guys like the lighting i hope the new camera is good for you um so yeah if you have any comments let them leave them below remember like the video subscribe and thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next one goodbye